Up next on OLN, the American Quarter Horse Association adds a highly anticipated world championship event. Qualified riders age 50 and over, which are part of AQHA Select program, are in Amarillo, Texas for AQHA's inaugural Bayer Select World Championship Show. America's Horse, the international report on the world's most versatile equine breed, the American Quarter Horse. Hi, I'm Jeff Metters. Welcome to America's Horse. This show is dedicated to American Quarter Horse enthusiasts age 50 and up. Some have been riding all their lives. Others are just trying to relive a childhood dream. But the riders we're about to meet are proof that age has no limits. 50 and over, or select classes, have been a part of American Quarter Horse competition since 1997, but in recent years, the number of eligible riders has seriously multiplied. Much like youth riders grow into amateur competitors, amateurs of a certain age can continue showing throughout their golden years in the amateur select program. But it's for our exhibitors and members that are over 50, it's a special division created uh, especially for them just because of the growth and the number of people that uh, were participating in that event. I think about uh, 16,000 last year, something like that, entries in the select division. and It's grown in the three or four years we've had it, so we're extremely excited about it. This inaugural show marks the third world championship event in the American Quarter Horse Association's 63-year history. The response from competitors was unanimous. They are thrilled with the opportunity to compete against people in their own age group. I think select shows are just great. Uh, there's more people with our ability that, that want to compete on equal footing, and this allows us to do it. But this is a dream come true. <laughs> this horse show, just having it for the select is like being able to relive a dream. It's way surpassed the AQUHA expectations. They expected something like 200 horses, and there's over 300 here. And that's really, uh, it's really a testament to, to everything and to what, what people want to do. After three days of English and Western competition, a lucky 22 winners will be holding shiny new select world championship trophies. Events range from cutting, reining and roping, to trail, pleasure driving, and jumping, just to name a few. In and out of the arena, enthusiasm for the event is contagious. Much of this is possible thanks to the support of the event's title sponsor, Bayer Animal Health. And everybody seems to be just having a fun time. There doesn't seem to be really that much tension amongst the competitors. I think the fact that they're competing amongst their peers is, uh, is a big issue and just everybody's here to really have a fun time and uh, it's just a great atmosphere to be part of. Judging from the energy and attitudes of these vibrant riders, horse showing has obvious health benefits. Riders say it keeps them young. I think so, and not only young but happy. Everyone I've walked past out here is just smiling and happy, and everyone I've said, you know, when you say, good morning, how are you? They all say, wonderful. I never had a horse until I was 42. Now I'm 67, so, you know, it's, it's a very clean sport, and, and it gives you concentration, it gives you thought, you, grooming the horses have the fun. So it's, it's a good healthy sport for me. To celebrate the inaugural event and the idea that 50 is fun, AQHA rolled out the red carpet at a reception held at the American Quarter Horse Heritage Center and Museum. It was a packed house. And it was the best. We got to go see the museum and their center and it was, it was wonderful. Special drawings and prizes were a highlight, and the contenders for the coveted all-around amateur title were introduced. AQHA put on a fabulous function for us and, and received us well, and we're just really pleased to be here. The reception was the perfect way to kick off finals competition. In the stands, we found a group called the Four to Five that traveled all the way to Amarillo just to watch. It was all of our idea because we really wanted to support the idea even though we didn't get qualified, we wanted to support the idea and make sure that the show had 
spectators and supporters. We wanted to support the people that did get um, qualified. The Florida Five agree that qualifying for next year is a must. So does the host of Horseman's Radio Weekly, Jim Campbell. They had 300 plus entries their first year and, and, and that's huge. Next year I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see it double and uh, hopefully I'll be one of, those, uh, one of those people coming here next year. The people that have really come together uh, for, for Select, and I'm sure that this time next year, that this show will be twice the size. When you come to uh, the first World Championship show for the Select people, we can see that this thing's here to stay and it looks like it's really gonna grow. Coming up, we'll meet several Select competitors and see how they are still going strong in the show ring. And later, the couple that shows together stays together. We'll meet three married couples who share the same passion for riding. Stay tuned to America's Horse. This OLN presentation of America's Horse is brought to you by Ford. The best-selling trucks are built Ford Tough by the Bayer Corporation, makers of quality animal health products. By MBNA America, the official credit card of AQHA. And by FedEx, you can always rely on the ultimate in reliable shipping, relax, it's FedEx. Welcome back to our coverage of the inaugural Bayer Select World Championship. Some of the riders we've met at this event have ridden all their lives. For others, it's a second chance to live a childhood dream. But no matter the case, these competitors may just have found the fountain of youth. Take, for example, Marjorie Reed from Carpinteria, California. She has the distinction of being this show's oldest competitor at 76 and not shy at all about sharing her birthday. February 4th, 1927. Marjorie started riding as a teenager. Since I was in junior high. That was a couple years ago. She went on to have four children that inherited her love of horses. Now with two grandchildren, she rides two or three times every week. At this show, she gets a kick out of riding with the youngsters. Some people are thrilled to be 50. The day they're 50, they can start doing this, which is wonderful. That's why there's some younger ones. So. Marjorie and her husband, Bud, are role models for health and longevity. He leaves the showing to her and spends his free time climbing mountains. He's proud of his horsewoman, who, by the way, is also a cover girl. And I was on the cover, that was really cool. Yeah, that was really cool. We also tracked down the oldest horse at the show, owned by Carol Nolan of Brentwood, California. Her name is Quincy's Dynasty, and we call her Dinah, and she's 21 years old. She'll be 22 in February. We're like a team, you know, we're two old ladies complaining to each other all the time, you know. I don't want to go out. Yes, you do. We're going. And when we get there, we have a good time. Carol's a retired crossing guard who discovered riding later in life. She got her first horse at age 42. Well, I started showing in 1978. That's a over 40 crowd there, and I started showing then. It's my first horse. Never had a horse until then. Carol was thrilled with the news of the select show. This gave Dinah one last experience in the show ring. This is her last year of showing. She's going home to her, uh, and retire after this show. So I thought this would be a good closing for her. There were 33 states represented at the 2003 Bears Select World Championship show, plus exhibitors from Canada. Sherry Newbigging is here after three days of 10 hour driving from her home in Cambridge, Ontario. It's my first year being qualified. And um, we decided to do it because we had five events here. That many different events means Sherry is in the running for the title of Select All-Around Amateur. <laughs> so far, quarter. Sherry and her Canadian crew have had a great time at the Select Show. For them, it's at the perfect time of year. So this is very nice. It's right at the right time of season for us. Gives us a couple weeks off and then we get to come down here. Sherry and Shorty place fourth in Hunt Seat Equitation. We'll check back on the All-Around race later in the show. For now, it's all about the competition. The show's been great. I, I think it's not a large show, but everybody here is very competitive. Very. Roger Olson owns a one-hour photo lab. His wife Susan's an accountant. We said earlier the couple that rides together stays together, and these two have been together for how long? Yeah. 37 years, and we still rope together. <laughs> so We get home from work, and, and we just like to go out and rope. We really enjoy our horses, and uh, 
So that's what we do. Both say the SELECT program is a blessing. It just brings new life into somebody that's getting a little older. And, and my wife, it really brought new life into her. She kind of quit showing because it got kind of tough. And so she started, as soon as the SELECT came about, she just really got with the program and was really excited. The Olsons were excited to both make the heading finals, and Susan was the only female roper in the bunch. I didn't really even notice it until, like, after I made our run, and I'm kind of looking around, and I'm thinking, there's not any girls out here. Roger finished fifth in the heading finals. Susan came in ninth. One thing was evident throughout. The ropers all support each other. Camaraderie is great. It's the first time I've ever gotten into a uh, competition where I hope everybody catches and everybody wins. It's really kind of neat deal. Ted Canopsis and Mike Wallace are two-thirds of a group of ropers that call themselves the California Connection. Greg Simon, Mike Wallace, and uh, myself went to the uh, convention about three years ago and made a recommendation that they do something for the old timers. And here it is. It's come to fruition and it's an exciting time for us. Ted explains why he loves to rope. You've got a 1,200 pound horse underneath you and you got a 500 pound steer and you got a partner with his horse and you've got so much going on and it all takes place in a very short time. And that adrenaline rush is just terrific. Ted ends up winning the select world championship in heading. Now that's an adrenaline rush. Still ahead, more select rider profiles. We'll meet some new world champions and check in with some longtime friends. America's Horse will be right back.